Okay, so you've done some brainstorming for your senior project topic, but those topics may be broad and hard to define at this point. You want to look for something that's more specific issue, or even better yet, a more specific question. And the question can be very important for your research and your writing of your paper. Uh, for the research, it gives you a more narrow and specific way of looking for information. And for the writing, it helps you find and locate a variety of answers to a question that concerns you and figure out where you fit in in this academic community. So we're going to brainstorm some questions. And remember, with brainstorming, quantity matters over quality. So at this point, just come up with as many questions as you can about your topic. The process we're going to use comes from the craft of research, which is a text used in many college courses. And what I'd like you to do first is think about what are the parts of your topic and how do they relate to one another. So if your topic were the title of a book, what would its chapters be? So if my topic were vegan, for example, I may break that down into food, politics, people, health, and then write questions about all those subtopics of my larger topic, such as these. Now do this for your own topic. What are the parts of your topic and how do they relate to one another? And write at least 10 questions on the subparts of your topic. Next, I'd like to think how is your topic part of a larger system? So now think of your topic as the chapter to a larger book. And so what are those larger topics you can connect your topic to? For example, with vegans, I can connect it to health, animal rights, food production, vegetarianism and write questions about those larger systems, um, larger categories of which my topic is a part. Now try this for your own topic. How is your topic part of a larger system? And what questions can you write about that larger system? Next I'd like to think how your topic can be grouped into kinds. For example, vegans, I can think of all the different kinds of vegans, and then think about how I might compare and contrast those various kinds of vegans, and questions like this. Now do this for your own topic. How can you group your topic into various kinds, and then write 10 questions comparing and contrasting these different types? Next, I'd like to think how and why your topic has changed through time as something with its own history. So think about the past, the present, and the future of your topic. For example, if we look at Madonna over the time, you can see how she has changed dramatically. So now think about that for your own topic and write questions about how your topic has changed over time. You can use this as an opportunity to make some sort of predictions about where your topic will go in the future. Next, I'd like you to think about evaluating your topic. How good or bad is it? Is it useful? And come up with these kind of evaluative questions about your topic. What do you like about it? And more importantly, what do you not like about it? Or what might others not like about it? Finally, I'd like you to ask some speculative what-if questions. This is where you do some out-of-the-box thinking and come up with some really wild and crazy ideas surrounding your topic. This is often where you find the most original thinking on your topic. So come up with as many what-if questions about your topic. Now you should have about a page of different kinds of questions, and what I'd like you to do is evaluate those questions um, using some criteria. Often we know a question is good if we don't know, already know the answer, or there are multiple legitimate answers, and the answer feels relevant and important to us in some way. So using this criteria, put a star next to the questions that you think are your best questions from your brainstormed list. Here are mine. And you can use these questions not only to help guide your research, but also to identify key words that will help you in various search engines. So for example, if I have these key words, I know that some of them are broad and they're going to give me lots of hits on my topic, but some are narrow and will give me more specific hits. 
and I can combine them to make them even more narrow. So for example, if I did child vegans and schools with working farms, I'm going to get a very specific and narrow and limited number of hits than if I put in carnivores, which will give me a lot of hits. So we'll stop here. If you need any help with any of this, please contact me. And the next tutorial will, will take you through how you can use some of the library resources to find more uh, answers to these questions and to refine them even further. Thank you.